Okay, so uh, let's do this other one uh, that I had started in uh, in class. Uh, I have the free body diagram. That's this uh, thing over here in blue, uh, so that I don't confuse you. I'm just going to uh, wipe these guys out. Uh, so I have the mg and the uh, normal. And uh, in class, I was talking about uh, why there was no force from the uh, gray or blue. Um, device, uh, this, this semicircular uh, piece from this, this guy. There was no force on the uh, point P from that one. So after you sum uh, or you have the free body diagram, you need to uh, sum forces uh, and I'm going to use R and theta uh, and so I really need to find the acceleration in using the R and theta. So I remember the formulas, they look like this, r double dot minus r theta dot squared. Uh, that'll be in the radial direction. Uh, and then I have 2 r dot theta dot plus r theta double dot in the uh, theta direction. Uh, now let's put in the things that I know. I know that r is equal to uh, 2 RC cosine theta. 2 RC. RC is constant. Cosine of theta. So, uh, yep, that's what I have there. Uh, it says that theta dot theta dot is a constant um, theta zero dot. So this, this thing is known. Theta zero dot is known. Uh, because it's constant Theta double dot is equal to zero. So maybe I should call this just so you know, keep it from getting confused. Call this um, uh, w, right? Omega is you know, typically what uh, angular velocity is. It's just a number. That I know what that number is, so I don't panic about it. Um, and I know it's a constant. So uh, what I need is, in order to finish the equation, I need the angle, uh, or excuse me, the r. Uh, the r dot and the r double dot. So I'm going to do that. So here's r dot. We'll do it uh, by hand. r dot is r and r uh, two and r c are constants. So this is going to be a minus two r c. Derivative cosine is a minus sine. That's why I have the negative there. Times theta. Don't forget the chain rule. Theta dot. Okay. Now to get the second derivative. Don't plug any numbers in until after you finish taking derivatives. I'm going to say that this is two pieces. It is the uh, first term here times the second term. Okay, so I'm going to use the product formula. So that would be uh, minus 2RC. First term, derivative of the sine is the cosine of theta, don't forget the chain rule, theta dot times the second term, uh, plus the first term times the derivative of the second term. You can use Mathematica for this as well. Okay, so now we'll plug numbers in, and uh, uh, because now I've got everything I need, so the theta double dot is zero, that's a constant, so this guy is zero. And so my r double dot is equal to a minus 2 rc cosine of theta times, uh, yeah, we're going to call that uh, w, right? Times theta dot squared is w squared. Okay, so that's my. Uh, R double dot. Um, so I'm just going to plug in. So the acceleration is equal to R double dot. That's a minus 2 RC cosine of theta times W squared minus R is 2 RC cosine of theta. Uh, times theta dot squared, which is w squared. That will be in the ur direction. 
plus uh, 2 r dot is negative 2 r c sine theta theta dot is w so that's uh, 2 r dot theta dot uh, plus r is 2 r c cosine of theta times theta double dot oh well I should have thought ahead so that's times zero that'll be in the u theta direction okay now that I have these what I'm going to do is sum forces in the radial direction in the radial direction I have uh, let's label this uh, angle here let's see up here this guy is going to be the angle theta so I'm just going to draw a dotted line here so if that's theta then this one here is 90 minus theta so this one here is theta okay so in the radial direction I have a minus because the mg uh, looking at this guy, the mg is inward pointing this way and the ur is out that way so the ur is this in this direction so that will be mg times the sine of the angle theta so the forces in the radial direction is minus mg sine of the angle theta that's all the forces that equals the mass times acceleration in the radial direction uh, so that would be uh, this term uh, right here this is the acceleration in the radial direction so it would be uh, let's see we'll put it in black here that would be a minus 2 RC cosine of theta omega squared minus 2 RC cosine theta omega squared with some uh, forces in the uh, theta direction uh, so I have an NB minus a component of the MG so it would be NB minus MG this time it will be the cosine of the angle theta that equals mass times acceleration in the theta direction and the acceleration in the theta direction is this piece right here so that would be uh, minus 2 times 2 is 4 RC sine of theta times omega squared or W squared okay so if you count the number of unknowns I don't know um, actually I just you know it's the theta that I don't know and the NB so the two unknowns okay so uh, I'm going to try and solve this thing and uh, I think the easiest thing to do is just go to uh, Mathematica and do it so let me do that Right, my equations are, uh, let's see, minus mg sine of theta equals, two equal signs, m times parentheses uh, minus, um, I go ahead and add those together, 4rc cosine theta times uh, the omega is uh, well I'll just call it W I'll punch it in later W squared so that's the acceleration of uh, that in the radial direction and then second equation is NB NB minus MG cosine of um, theta equals 
Yeah, I should put em times g, not mg, so m times g. Cosine of theta equals mass times a minus 4 rc sine. <coughs> hmm, excuse me, theta times w squared. Okay, I think I've typed them right. And uh, let's execute that. <coughs> now what I want to do is solve the equations for... <coughs> excuse me, E and B and theta. Alright, uh, and it's very typical to get these conditional expressions uh, when you're using Mathematica. And if you notice, what it is uh, is the you know the solution is an angle inverse tangent uh, with a uh, two two pi times a constant, and that constant is any integer. So you know it could be zero, it could be one, it could be two. So basically, it's the inverse tangent of this angle, uh, plus 360, plus 720, plus you know, uh, multiples. So really, uh, you just need the one. Um, okay, so uh, let's see. Did they want the, um, oh, they just wanted the angle uh, theta, so I don't really care about the NB. So I'm just going to pull this guy off um, right here. Let's see one angle, I have two solutions, one angle is negative inverse tangent, it'll be the uh, uh, negative uh, in the numerator and negative in the denominator, it's going to get me 180 degrees away I, that's not the one I want, so I want this one up here that has the inverse tangent of the of the positive, so I'm just going to copy this guy easiest thing to do, it's probably easier just put it in your calculator and, uh, so uh, put it here, and let's put in uh, values of g. G equals 9.81, and then execute this one. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to pause. Okay, got a little freaked out on, on that one uh, uh, when I saw some, but it, it notice the. Uh, uh, the denominators of these guys are all the same so uh, when I uh, reduce this it's going to be simply arctangent of 9.81 uh, and 4 RC uh, W squared because the rest of it is uh, is the same thing so uh, that would be the uh, the location where it uh, lifts off. So it looks okay. So uh, if you want to get a number, um, we'll pick some values for RC. Uh, we'll let that be one, and uh, we'll let the uh, W, which is uh, theta dot sub zero, and we'll let that be uh, two and execute that and then uh, we'll ask for the arc tangent so I'll just copy and paste bang remember that those are in radians so if you don't want radians you just divide by the degree which is built in uh, or convert it whatever it's probably easiest to use your uh, calculator uh, for that uh, but anyway so that'll be the uh, uh, 58 degrees is the uh, where it would lift off. Incidentally, I uh, looked back at uh, the problem statement, and it says to uh, find the value that is less than 45 degrees. Uh, obviously this one's greater than 45 uh, but when I check the uh, solution uh, manual this is the correct answer um, I suppose that if you use different values of R and uh, Omega 
you pr you'll obviously you'll get different numbers, um, and it would uh, give you a different angle. Uh, so just to demonstrate that, if you doubled the uh, the omega, then you'll have 81 degrees. Uh, if you lower it, I guess maybe. Let's see what you get now. 22. So depending on what the uh, speed of the theta dot and the uh, RC are, uh, you'll get different values. But anyway, the uh, the solution is uh, for the inverse tangent of 4 RC uh, omega squared divided by G, which is what we have here. All right, so now that's it.